Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, the Bank of England met today, the Monetary Policy Committee, and they've decided to increase the bank rate to 1%. Now, we have seen three interest rate hikes this year. There was one in February, one in March, there's now one in May. If you have a mortgage, you're likely going to feel the instantaneous impact of that rate rise in your mortgage package. And what I want to do in this video is maybe just talk about some of the things that you can do because there are things that you can do that you might not be aware of. I also think it's important to maybe contextualize where we essentially are. Now, if you listen to Andrew Bailey uh, speak, there are a couple of things that are really, really important that, that people are latching on to. First and foremost is the fact that they are forecasting that inflation is going to reach 10% this year. Now, I don't know about you, but alongside energy prices, cost of food going up, which is essentially, you know, inflation. Um, it costs more money to put fuel in the car. You may be in a position right now where you're having to tighten your belt because your money isn't going as far as it used to. Inflation being forecast to hit 10% by the end of this year is only going to exacerbate that even further. It's going to make it even more difficult. It means that if you did have surplus income before, you're not going to have as much. If you're in a position where you didn't have any surplus income in the first place, well, it gets even worse. Now, they use the Bank of England base rate to counteract inflation because the idea is that essentially with the Bank of England base rate going up, interest rates going up, debt becomes more expensive to basically get and people may take the incentive to actually save a little bit more money. And I do want to talk a little bit about savings as well whilst we're uh, talking about this. This is where I'm going to give my personal views. And look, I may not be right, but I don't think I'm going to be far off this. If inflation does hit 10% by the end of this year, I think that things will only get worse as we progress through the year. Because in order for the base rate to effectively combat a 10% inflation rate, I think that the base rate needs to be a lot higher than 1%. I don't know what that number is though, but it needs to be higher than 1%. And if that is the case, this is only going to get worse. So if you are a homeowner, this next bit is for you. So if you're in a standard variable mortgage or if you're in a tracker mortgage, like I said previously, you are going to instantaneously feel the impact of this, this rate rise from yesterday in your mortgage payment because that is going to be passed on to you immediately. We've already seen three of these, so you may have already have seen that your mortgage payments have increased. What you can do about this is you can actually fix your mortgage. Now, the benefit of fixing your mortgage is that, number one, you agree a rate that will not move for the term that you agree. So if you agreed a two-year, three-year, five-year term, if you lock in at 2%, for example, it will not increase beyond 2%, regardless of whether the Bank of England base rate moves beyond 2%. And what that is going to do for you is it's going to allow you to be able to plan for your finances. It's going to allow you to budget effectively, knowing that you don't have any variables within probably the biggest commitment that you pay on a monthly basis. It is most people's biggest monthly commitment, the mortgage payment. So it's going to give you a little bit of stability. Now, if you're going to do this, you need to speak to a mortgage expert or just go to your provider. Um, I would probably recommend that you go to an independent mortgage advisor so they can have a look at the entire market for you and source something from the entire market, go out and find the best deal. If you're banking with a Barclays or a HSBC and you go to them, you're, you're only going to have access to their products specifically. Admittedly, the service could be a little bit, um, I guess, streamlined if you go straight to the provider that you already have your mortgage with. Because they already know you, they may ask you to jump through fewer hoops. But really, if you can, go and find an independent mortgage advisor who can scour all of the mortgage providers out there and look for the best deal for you. Now, the rates that you're going to be offered are going to be dependent on how much you have in your mortgage versus the value of your property. That's called a loan to value. 
The good news is that if you have a relatively low loan to value, so for example, if your house is worth 200,000 and you only have a mortgage of say 50,000, then you're going to have access to really attractive rates. If you have a higher loan to value, then the rates might be a little bit more expensive, but nevertheless, I think that you'll be in a better position if you actually fix. But again, take some advice and make sure that you examine and cross all the T's, well, dot all the I's and cross all the T's when it comes to the mortgage payments or mortgage package itself. If you are in a position where you are currently on a fixed rate and you know that your fixed rate is likely to be coming to an end within a relatively short period of time, then it may be worthwhile trying to see if you can fix into a new deal a little bit earlier. Now, word of warning here, depending on how long you have left on your current deal, you may have an early repayment charge. And that early repayment charge, depending on the size of your mortgage and what you've got left and what the early repayment charge is, could amount to hundreds, if not thousands. Now, it can be very, very difficult, and I, I wouldn't really recommend it if you have, you know, kind of maybe like a year or so. I mean, it could work, but you need to have a look at the numbers, and these numbers will be individual to you. But if you are aware that you're going to be coming off a mortgage deal fairly quickly, it might be worthwhile having a look at trying to get onto a another fixed rate deal early, as long as the early repayment charge isn't so expensive that it wipes out any benefit that you would have by switching into a fixed rate mortgage sooner rather than later. And look, let's just be clear here. This is under the assumption that we're going to see further Bank of England base rate rises, which I think is very, very plausible if they are forecasting that inflation is going to hit 10%. There's a lot of guesswork here, guys. So again, you've got to do your own research. You've got to speak to people. You've got to crunch the numbers. But I think that if you are on a standard variable or a tracker, you're going to feel it. And someone in my, in my Discord group <laughs> messaged me today, like, immediately i mean she's already seen three she's going to see another one now so i think it's an important message now the other flip side to this um interest rate rise is for savers if you're a saver um it's a good thing but the unfortunate and this is a catch-22 right there is it doesn't feel like there's a win-win situation here um if you're a saver typically how this would work is you would find the interest rates and would would increase as well so if you're saving you'll get a better rate on the high street now, that may be true, but oftentimes the 4.25%, which they're increasing the interest rate by now, isn't necessarily reflected in savings accounts. So if you do have savings, the good news is you're likely going to see an increase in your savings account interest rate, albeit minuscule. Um, but let's be real. If inflation is at currently 7% or so, if you're getting 0.75%, you're still not beating inflation. So it, it feels like it's a lose-lose situation for people who have a mortgage and people who have savings, although on the savings side, it really isn't. Um, I think that things will get more difficult. And I understand that I understand more than most what that is like. Um, it's a really, really tricky thing to try and balance this. I don't know that I would have the right decisions or be able to make the right decision if I was Andrew Bailey. Um, all we can do is just monitor the situation, see how it progresses, see what happens moving forward. Um, but if you are on a mortgage, please, please just go speak to someone, try and get into a fixed rate, save yourself some money. It will help you at least have a stable financial footing for which you can budget from. Um, on another note, if you do want um, a little bit of help on budgeting, I've got a free budgeting Excel sheet uh, on my personal website, not on conversationalmoney.com. If you type in my name, petercomalafe.com, um, you will be able to download a free budgeting sheet. It's all tabulated. It's actually quite detailed as well, actually. You can download that. It will go through all of your spending uh, categories, the whole thing. There's also an investment tracker in there as well if you are investing too. But hopefully this was useful. Um, if you do have any questions, pop them in the uh, comment section below. All right, catch you later.